Factor and graph p of x equals x cubed minus 8. In part a, factor algebraically using the integral zero theorem. We write the polynomial. Use the integral zero theorem to determine potential zeros of the polynomial. The potential zeros of the polynomial are the factors of the constant term. The integral factors of negative 8 are plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, and plus minus 8. Next, determine which potential zeros are actual zeros of the polynomial. The calculations for this step are shown. A zero of the polynomial is 2. Now use synthetic division to factor the polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is 3, and we have a zero of 2. The zero of 2 corresponds to a factor of x minus 2. Divide x cubed minus 8 by x minus 2 to find the remaining factors. Set up the synthetic division. Complete the synthetic division. The quotient is x squared plus 2x plus 4, the divisor is x minus 2, and the remainder is 0. Using p of x equals q of x times d of x plus r, we can write the polynomial in the factored form p of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 4 times x minus 2. Note that x squared plus 2x plus 4 can't be factored further. In part b, use technology to graph the polynomial. Can the polynomial be factored using just the graph? Use your graphing calculator to obtain the graph. The graph lets us quickly find the x-intercept of 2. While the graph gives us one of the factors, x minus 2, it does not help us find the other factor, x squared plus 2x plus 4. We would still need to use synthetic division to find the other factor. Therefore, this polynomial is not factorable using just the graph. In part c, can p of x be factored any other way? The following formulas can be used to find the sum and difference of cubes. x cubed minus 8 is a difference of cubes, so compare this with the difference of cubes formula. The a position is held by x. The value of b is 2, since 2 cubed equals 8. Replace all a's with x, and replace all b's with 2. The factored form of the polynomial is x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. This is the same result we obtained in part a.